KZ Guy 2 here again, no nonsense, no how. And today I'm working on this 2009 Honda Civic behind me. And the complaint here is no matter what you set this blower fan switch on, the blower fan does not come on. So in this brief video, I'm going to show you the steps I took to determine that the blower fan was bad. I'm going to show you how to replace the blower fan and the blower motor resistor along with a new cabin filter. And then toward the end of the video, we'll take a look at a wiring diagram and explain this system. So that way, if your fan doesn't happen to be the problem, you have a better understanding of the system and can pinpoint what might be the cause. Like usual, I'll try and keep this real fast. If it helps you, give it a thumbs up and here we go. Now the way I determined that this blower motor was bad is I put it all the way on high and then I simply gave it a good hit right here and the blower fan came on but it does sound a little crunchy. So without digging in any further, what that's going to tell me is that more than likely there's a dead spot within the windings of this motor and you can pick one of these new fans up pretty darn cheap. I'll plug links in down below for everything I use in this video by the way. So let me show you real quick how to put this fan in and if this isn't your problem fast forward to this time right here and then we'll talk about what some of the other problems might be. I do suggest replacing your blower motor resistor at the same time as the fan just because these are pretty common to go bad as well and it's a fairly cheap part you're already in there it's not really much any extra labor for that matter. So I'm going to go ahead and put one of these in there too and then of course the cabin filter is dirty. I suppose I'll start with the cabin filter because there's one other thing I want to show you that could be your problem. So you just you squeeze in on these two tabs right here to, to drop this down. You can hold that right here and then you push in on this one. You push in on this one here that I'll show you here in a second. You slide your cabin out. That's just those, those little push tabs right there. You just push in on those. And you can see this one's pretty dirty, pretty crumbed up. And now you have a very clear view of your blower motor. I want you to check and make sure there's no foreign debris in there and if there is get that stuff out of there there really shouldn't be like even this one has a couple leaves but that's just probably from somebody changing the cabin filter in the past uh, obviously the cabin filter should prevent anything from getting in there but you, you you definitely want to check spin that by hand and make sure you don't have a mechanical binding of the blades or anything and because that could be your issue while your blower fans not working so make sure that baby spins freely Provided that checks out, you can slip your new cabin air filter in with the airflow arrows pointing down and then slide and click in your new filter and we are done there. Now on to the blower fan. You're going to get your finger behind here and pull toward, toward the camera and this whole panel should just click right off of here. And then on the back there is a couple stays that go into these right here. And on the front side you can see it's got one, two, three four clips that will go into their appropriate slots along here. Now we have a clear view of the blower motor so we can push this in, disconnect the electrical and if we follow that over to the back here to get that connection off you're going to push in where my finger is right there, push down and then pull back and that should slide right off there. You see that it's a four wire connector shouldn't have any melting on it or anything and you push down right here and that whole uh, blade will slide down. To get the fan out, I'm using this Milwaukee ratchet and a T20 Torx. And you are going to remove one, two, three bolts holding this fan in. You could also use a flat blade screwdriver on those if you don't have a Torx. With those off, this whole fan should just slide right out like that. Make sure to note its position. And you can see that this little piece right here, this little breather, is going to have to get snapped right back up into this spot here. But there's no rubber gaskets or anything else to worry about, so just compare it with your new one, slide your new one up in there, and I suppose it wouldn't be a bad idea that once you bolt the new one in to hand spin it through where the cabin filter is and make sure it doesn't bind or hit the walls or anything like that. Got that thing all bolted in and then just plug her back in. We've already got it unplugged. You could use a short stubby Phillips to get the bolts out or a seven millimeter socket with a short extension to get those. Choose which method you prefer. They're pretty easy to get to. And when you tighten them back down, just snug them in. With those out, that slides right out of place here. You might get a little hooked on the top like me, but it comes out of there pretty darn easy. Now, I'm sorry, I gotta correct myself. I was calling this a resistor before. This is actually a blower transistor, not a resistor, a little bit different. But compare the new one to the old one. Make sure you put the foam gasket in place here. Properly orientate it with this little tab upward. Slide it up in there and put your screws back in. Just snug these down. Don't over torque them. With all that back in place, snap my plastic panel in, 
fire to blow her up. She works great. We are done. All right, now let's say it, your fan's not bad and your diagnostic procedure wasn't quite as, as simple as just tapping on the blower. Let's look at some of the other potential causes here. It's a very simple system. So you have three fuses, uh, one in the, the under dash, so the driver's side under dash fuse panel. You're going to have fuse 36, 10 amp, and that is going to be a brown wire that supplies power over to your blower motor relay. So with the key on, that should be 12 volts coming over there. So you wanna check, make sure that fuse is good. Now on the other side of the relay, that's gonna be the switched power going to your blower. So you're gonna to wanna to check fuse nine, a 40 amp, make sure that's good and hot. And then of course, on the ground side of the relay, it's gonna have a chassis ground over here. So basically when you turn your key on, this blower motor relay should be getting 12 volts here, uh, bridging the gap between these two and then sending 12 volts on this white wire that I have colored red all the way over to your blower motor. Okay, so you could have a bad fuse, bad wiring there, or a bad blower motor relay. Now let's assume all that's good and you're getting 12 volts on the white wire. We can take a look at the green ground side of this uh, motor here, and that's gonna go on over to the blower transistor. So a couple potential problems if you're not getting a ground on this. You could have a bad or burnt up connection on it. You could just have a faulty blower transistor. And uh, you could have a bad ground on this black wire that's going to it. You got to make sure that that wire does have a chassis ground. Yellow and blue head over to your HVAC control panel uh, on the dash. And so, of course, it makes it a little bit more complicated to, to try to pinpoint what's what's supposed to be coming out of these wires. That I actually don't know. So if you got that issue, well, you're going to have to dig in further. And uh, that's going to be a separate video. But I highly doubt being a Honda, it's either going to be one of those fuses, the relay, the blower motor, the transistor, or a wiring issue. And if everything else is good, then more than likely you have a circuitry problem inside the con heater control panel. And that's going to be just probably replacing it uh, or, again, finding another video and doing some more pinpoint tests on those wires. And that should wrap it up. I probably gave you more information than you really needed to know. I don't think you watched this far, but if you did, I appreciate it. And make sure to give this a thumbs up. Until next time, this is KZ Guy 2 here. No nonsense, no how. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you next time.